hello everyone and welcome to my new video guys here on my channel in this video guys i'm gonna show you the best settings for nvidia control panel for gaming to boost your fps in games get less input delay and play the game with the best experience and the best graphics so guys let's hop into the video okay everyone first i'm going to open nvidia control panel here and yeah we can go with the settings now first we are going with adjust image settings with preview this is about performance and quality what do i look for uh, like uh, you have like this here but here is is best uh, is better quality uh, i recommend you here guys as you can see i i have uh, I have applied quality but how to do this how to do this uh, select this third uh, setting here and you can drag this to uh, less or or to to higher like uh, as you can see there's quality so uh, when you do that just select the first setting now guys we are going uh, to the second uh, to the second and the most important section of settings uh, this is guys the 3d settings section and we can start with the first setting uh, first we have image scaling image scaling is on off as you can see this feature enables GPU scaling and sharpening for your application this uh, this this uh, setting makes uh, your your screen more sharp like uh, more sharp and better in quality so I recommend you to to do this on off because it's gonna take from your FPS and it's gonna give you some delay uh, this second setting here ambient ambient occlusion turn off uh, because as you can see here uh, is not compatible with DirectX 12 games but uh, the most games are DirectX 12 so I recommend you to uh, disable this setting because it's it's like mm, so unnecessary uh, we are moving here with anis anisotropic filtering anisotropic filtering uh, make this on application controlled as you can see uh, texture filtering affects the crispness of textures. This is uh, giving your. Uh, this is giving uh, better textures, better looking textures. So I recommend you to do this on application controlled. Uh, Anti-aliasing uh, FXAA turn off because, as you can see, it's a fast shader based post processing technique that can be applied to any program so uh, this is giving you a uh, anti-aliasing in the game and on the image quality uh, which I don't recommend you to use because uh, you, you will not have good experience in the game if it's like Fortnite or, or maybe Fortnite PUBG or something so I recommend you to turn off this setting and yeah anti-aliasing gamma correction turn on um, so yeah we're going uh, now with anti-aliasing mode this setting is similar to this anti-sotropic filtering so make this setting on uh, application control so yeah uh, anti-aliasing setting uh, the same like the previous it's okay anti aliasing transparency turn off and yeah uh, allows you to minimize the visible aliasing on the edge of images with ten transparent textures we don't need this at all so turn off these guys and yeah background application max frame rate this set the maximum frame rate that the GPU will render a game or 3D application running in the background. Uh, select this on off because we don't need this too. So yeah, uh, GPUs set on all, DSR factors off, 
of uh, low latency uh, low len uh, latency mode this is important setting too uh, turn off because uh, control reduces latency by limiting the number of frames that the CPU uh, can prepare before the frames are processed by the GPU so uh, low latency mode guys turn off max frame rate turn off too to, to get better rendering in the games so turn off this turn off this two uh, open GL rendering GPU uh, make this on auto select uh, so yeah power management mo uh, mode this is this is uh, important setting too because uh, you you're selecting here the power management which I recommend you to use this on optimal power because it's, it's the best like that as you can see we have adaptive prefer maximum performance you can actually set this on prefer maximum performance uh, to get the best performance in Fortnite and uh, get better FPS and less input delay so make this on maximum performance okay driver default uh, texture filtering on off texture filtering negative clamp texture filtering quality quality make on quality because like that is the best uh, quality we have like high performance but actually you can make this setting on performance because we need performance in our games and I recommend you to use this on performance texture filtering trillionaire optimization turn on treated optimization auto triple buffering off vertical scenes uh, use the 3d application setting these pre-rendered frames on one end virtual reality on off so yeah guys uh, we are done with this uh, section of settings now we are going uh, oops now we are going in, in the change resolution tab here as you can see um, as you can see guys in this tab you can make custom resolution by clicking customize I, uh, as you can see this is my custom resolution you can copy this here down is for low end pieces but this here up is for uh, like the best stretch resolution for Fortnite chapter 3 season 3 so yeah uh, also you can like change your resolution here to the to the resolutions that your PC have and you can change the refresh rate or monitor Hertz here so yeah uh, now we're going with the uh, with the last with the last setting section which is I just desktop color settings uh, desktop color settings I recommend you here guys to, to drag this to 30 brightness to 30 uh, but but before you do anything you must select here all channels so yeah contrast go on 80 this is the best and gamma drag to 0.80 like 0.81 and yeah digital vibrance uh, digital vibrance we can make this on 30 as you can see here and hue hue will we will make this on zero uh, we don't need this to change so yeah okay guys that was uh, the best settings for nvidia control panel to boost your fps in fortnite or other games and get less input delay in gaming so thanks for watching the whole video make sure to like and subscribe and if you have any question to ask me just leave a comment on this video thanks thanks for watching again and i'll see you in the next video bye